I guess in the next few videos I would like to go over the creating a corridors. As you can see there is a corridor menu and Trimble has as usual did a great job of putting in the sequence what you need to do. This first tab is alignment, then corridors, separate cross section profile, station offset infrastructure and reports. If you want to take a look at that this is how you have to kind of go one by one by one. If you want to find out which module do you need to basically uh, create a corridor, you got to start with the alignment and that's on the Trimble's website under the matrix, workflow matrix. And if you're going to look at this alignment creation and editing is you need anything higher than surface modeling. I believe that's all in there. You would need to not just field data, not just the viewer, but you have to go under surface model, survey in intermediate, survey advanced, side model and construction or infrastructure and construction. All of those should allow you to create alignments and edit them. When you keep on going and let's read through what else is, if we get to the corridor design, you would have to go to survey advanced and higher, obviously and as you need more and more uh, creation tools you probably need all these uh, new modules so enough about that and let's jump right away, right into the creating uh, alignment i'm just going to create alignment it's going to open the alignment create alignment comment pane i'm going to call it center line I'm going to choose layer and I like to create layer. Let's say, do I have it created there? No, I'm just going to create a layer. I call it the finish design alignment. And I'm just going to put it under my finish design group layer. Finish design close. Now you have few options here that you can inscribe the curves and PIs. Define individual, define individual segments. You can use existing line and what kind of spiral. To get more information on what that means, don't forget to check out help. As of now, I do have, I had an alignment in one of my jobs and here I have the alignment report, which we're gonna start on and create this alignment. This is uh, yeah spiral type is clotoid right it's all in metric and we do individual segments I'm just gonna follow that I'll hit OK this will open alignment editor and at the beginning we gotta play with the horizontal alignment it's asking us the station it's asking us station and our beginning station is zero plus four four nine eight point Three three zero, and I do have a north and easting nine nine eight nine point six three eight and nine nine eight two point five eight one, and it's asking us whether we are going arc or we are going straight. What's going on in our, our beginning is lines. It's straight and it starts at the same point we started and it's going for a 39.75 meters and here is our north azimuth we're gonna keep it on we're gonna type in our north azimuth 90 40 55 uh oh sorry i have to change that to line and it's asking us for our length which is 39.795 and it calculated our end station which is 538.125, which you can see right here, and the coordinates of the end of that uh, straight section. Next one is our arc. We're going to go and hit arc. It's going to be a tangent arc, and radius is 50. It, and as we, if we zoom up here, right, we're going to see it right away. It's 50, I believe it's to the right, I will double check that. What's the next one they want? Uh, length, they are asking length and we have 26.677 
and we have our alignment now because I know the alignment should go up that this wasn't right but it was left oh and it is actually written on our report that it's left okay my bad we're gonna change that and just gonna click through it changed that then the next one we have again line and we're gonna type in the line tangent yes it's 13.445 and the next one is arc again and it's a right radius is again 50 it's right and the length is 26.509 and you keep on going creating this alignment again we have a line next one is line tangent and the length is 26.509 basically i'm just following this report recreating this kind of detour or whatever that was remember we did the line at 26.509 which Okay, this was arc 26.5 and the, oh, this one, this line wasn't 26.5, I read the arc, this line is 22.037, the next one is arc and it's a right arc and the radius is still 50 and length is 17.573. And then we have a line again which is just a very short line tangent and the length is 2.799 yeah then we have again arc tangent radius 50 and the length is 30.977 oops 30.977 and this one is actually left like that and to the left, the yeah, arc tangent, arc length. Just looks a little bit weird. Okay, I'll have to go back to my. I had the 1753 arc at 50, and it's right. Yeah, and then, then we had the line at 2.799. Yeah. And then we have the arc, which the length was 30 point, yeah. And now we're gonna go and have another line at the end where we it's gonna be tangent, and this is gonna be 40.024. Yeah, so it just doesn't look right to me because I remember it should, should be kind of you thing. So I made a mistake somewhere. Let's just go and double check that back backwards. We're going from a line here, which is 40.024. And I can check is 718. We should be 734. Okay, then next one was arc, which was, okay, this distance I have line is 3. 50 and it's left yes that's all good then we're going to the line which is 2.799 yeah then we have a 17 oh yeah this arc length i uh, this was a tangent angle this was should be 33798 3, this will change this now okay that looks way better it's basically a little detour it it went from the original alignment to the original alignment Okay, now this looks very bad. We do have a horizontal alignment, which we are happy, as you can see on your Project Explorer, you get the center line alignment. Now we need to go to the step two of alignments, which is we have to define its vertical curve, we, because right now we just have a horizontal line. By doing that is just you click here on your vertical. You gotta unlock this and create a vertical alignment. It's gonna say center line. It's gonna automatically pick up our beginning station. Now that's something you might have to adjust because our vertical alignment starts way sooner for 98.120 and we do have elevation 15.5 and now we are going to do a symmetrical vertical curve and yeah we're gonna put in the station of 0 plus 552 and elevation of 1010.8 
and curve length is oh again i am messed up now we have uh, you see you have vpi vpi and then we go to vertical curve i, I put in this v, vpi i just need to put these two vpis there and so it's not gonna be vertical curve i just kind of it's gonna be great break at 552 and this elevation then I have another great break at uh, 0 plus 555.563 and another elevation 1010504 and now I'm gonna do symmetrical vertical curve and the station is of our VP 0 plus 564.301 and the elevation is 1009.692 curve length we have a 10.507 and then we're going to another symmetrical curve which your vpi is at 0 plus 588.514 uh, elevation is 1006.781 and this length is 37.768 and another so we got one two this one is the third one this is another symmetrical curve and as you can see i have done something wrong here let's go and take a look at it distance from this station is greater than the beginning of the other station the end station of okay yeah, i need to put in the grade break at the end of that first vertical curve which is basically the beginning of the zero plus five six nine point 630 and elevation 1009.052 and now i can see whether 569 630 minus 555563 if it gives me this curve line right e easily on 569.630 minus 555.563 equals 14.067 which makes me that this grade break is not the beginning of the symmetrical curve we're gonna have to insert a row here and have a grade break at basically at the beginning of the uh, curve 0 plus 559.048 and elevation is 10.10.186 10, and now if I minus that, 69.630 This should be actually 0 plus 569.555 And there we go 569.555 569.555 minus 559.048 equals 10507. That's good. And 560.301. Oh, and I have a typo here because this should be a 301. And boom. Ah, that's more. Too much. 564301 What is it going what is it doing here? The distance from this station is less than ending distance from previous segment. The problem is the rounding up this is 507. Let's see if I put 508 or 506. Yeah, it doesn't know because it's splitting millimeters. It's not splitting millimeters. You just have to round it up because it split to 5.253. That's how I figure that one. And then the next one and the next one and the next one. And you, this is the first symmetrical curve, vertical curve. Now we got another vertical curve which starts at 
0 plus 569.630 elevation is 1009.052 now we're gonna go symmetrical vertical curve so vpi is 0 plus 588.514 basically just following the table 1006.781 length is 37.768 so it's gonna split it up now we're gonna go great break 0 plus 607.391006.548 see this one worked perfectly another great break another symmetrical curve where we have a station and 0 plus 625.455 symmetrical oops tab 0 plus 635.320 and 19.529 great tab 0 plus 644.984 and yes again we are running into that issue with you see with the 9 at the end we're gonna change it to 8 and we are home square and now we are at that one so another symmetrical curve so the beginning of the curve is 0 plus 653.638 1006.876 uh, now we got symmetrical our VPI is 0 plus 655.409 the, the, the 1006.941 and the length is 3.543 we're gonna get that issue the rounding error right to grade break we do have a great break here at 0 plus 657.181 and elevation 106.990 then we have some BPIs which is 0 plus 682.421 and last one is 0 plus 734.37.370 and 1009.840 as you can see like 734.370 and the horizontal is 734.391 so roughly the same place now this gave us a vertical curve if you would look at the 3d view and you now scale it you see i have a typo somewhere let's 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 fix the typo on the vertical oh yeah here you see six six five three six three eight six five three six three eight it sh I should be at one zero zero oh, seven and we are just humans mistakes happen now you can see that there is a vertical alignment and as you can see here we have vertical alignment this would be a quick and easy how you create a alignment if you have a station equation there it is another one if you have super elevation that is depending on depending on what you get for the alignment this is how can you create one easy quick and easy as you can see here is a create alignment alignment editor now you can go and create labels center line label settings obviously you can double check or whatever you want spacing we can go 20 meter minor half point station everything hit okay hit okay you can play with it obviously my font size is out too but also you can do an explorer object and as you go you're gonna get elevation and station as you can see hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and uh, stay tuned for the next step where we actually gonna start creating corridor assigning some templates and we'll go from there have a great week and we'll see you next video